So today EA released Laurent Blanc as an SBC, of course, an icon. And he's going to cost you, of course, the bronze and silver squads. An 80 rated, a full gold squad. 84, 85, 88 and 86. We bought his loan or we've completed his loan, I should say. Let's put him into a team and tell you why this card I think is very, very interesting. Okay, guys, so Laurent Blanc is now put into the team. And I have used this card a fair amount already this year. And I don't want to blow my load too quickly, I suppose. But man alive. His playstyle plus, before we talk about anything else, is the best playstyle plus to have on a defensive player. Anticipate plus means that just when you're making tackles, it's more likely to stick to the player you are tackling with when they've got this playstyle plus. And it works so, so effectively. He's also got Bruiser, which is a nice one to have, as well as Jockey. And then he also has Aerial, which is a really nice set of playstyles to have on a centre-back. And he's actually not that bad on the ball either. He has medium-high work rates, 6 foot 4 with Aerial. Weak foot you don't really care about. He's mostly lengthy as well. And he's right-footed. He can play Cam and centre-back. So if you need him in Cam for chemistry for whatever reason, you can. But I certainly wouldn't be playing him anywhere other than centre-back. Maybe CDM as a very, very defensive CDM. As you go into the in-game stats, he has just got great stats across the board. Good pace split, good passing for a centre-back. He has got really, really good dribbling, actually. Not that bad on the agility and balance. Good reactions, ball control, and composure. Defensively, he is absolutely brilliant as well, as you can see there, with really, really good physicals. Now, he's got low jumping. He is 6'4", and he's got aerial as a playstyle plus. So, that doesn't really matter too much. You can also see that we've applied a shadow to him. There is an argument to be made that an anchor could be better. But with the shadow, you're getting a massive, massive pace boost there, up to 86 base pace, 84 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. He's almost maxed out on defending in the right areas as well, up to 97 interceptions, 88 head and accuracy, 95 defensive awareness, 99 stand tackle, and 99 slide tackle. He is, in my opinion, from what I've played, better than Virgil van Dijk. So let's get into a few games with him and see how good he actually is. FC24 has finally dropped, guys. And if you need fast, reliable coins, make sure to go to MMOEXP.com and use my code VIPER at checkout for 5% off your order. All right then, guys. So when it comes to centre-backs, we're just going to do live games to kind of get a feel for them. And as I've told you, I've already used Blanc a fair bit on this game. And I know what he's good at. Um, his passing's really, really good for a centre-back. And you're, you're kind of expecting him to win every single tackle he does make. You know, he's offside. He's got to be off. Look at that, guys. Look at that tackle. And that is why Anticipate Plus is absolutely godlike on this game. His positioning as well is perfect. And as you can see there, the passing out with him is just almost perfect for a, uh, you know, a centre-back. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Oh. Okay, this guy's obviously a bit of a demon. I don't know how Blanc didn't get to that, I'll be honest. Um, and we are going to try and score, obviously, as well, because... I don't want to lose. But this guy's a good player, which is actually a good test for Blanc here. Nice, Sonny. Easy does it. Oh, this guy's press is a bit mad. We did go and get double rank once this week as well, guys. So, um, I'm pretty confident in my ability on the game now. Oh, gets that De Bruyne. No, okay. I really like the fact that Blanc can actually, like, jockey as well, though. I think that's quite nice. And because he's got, like, the mostly lengthy as well, he's able to get back into position, like, quite quickly with the, uh, the lengthy... Lengthy business, you know, so that's also very good about this card. Come on, Smith, get that equaliser. Come on, Smith, there we go, nice. She's great as well, by the way, guys, and she's going to get a trailblazer next week, so, or this week, I should say. Um, and that's going to be very, very, very fun to play with, if you ask me. <coughs> and yeah, so we're just going to do, <coughs> excuse me, one or two live games with Blanc here. But that first tackle, that first bit of play you saw, is exactly why I like Blanc. He's able to kind of make the most insane recovery tackles I've ever seen. And every time you do tackle with him, he is going to win the ball. And he's so, so good in the air, even though he's got bad jumping for a centre half. Because he's six foot four and he's got the right play style, it makes him absolutely brilliant for that kind of stuff too. And if you guys do enjoy like this more like live kind of segment, let me know. I'm happy to do more of them. I'm trying to test out what works and what doesn't at the moment. So whatever you guys really want. Blanc is there. Oh, he's, he's actually gone there as well. Go on then, Blanc. Oh, my God. Oh, it's off the bloody line from Blanc. He, he really is, like, 
almost like an ultimate ball playing center back. I think it's kind of crazy that EA have given him an SBC that's actually quite cheap this early. I, I'm, I'm not joking Like when I say that Blanc is like literally god tier this year, guys. Um, he is so good if you're good at making standing tackles. He's so good if you like a ball playing center back as well. I don't know why he passed over his left foot there, by the way. Seems a bit uh, rigged there. Oh, I've committed too hard there. Blanc is going back. Look at Blanc's recovery speed there, guys. That is why you're going to want the shadow on him. And he's passing out. It's good, as you can see there, man. We started a breakaway here just because of that tackle there from... Oh, hello, Smith. I didn't realize she had Trickster. Okay. I was just trying to pop the ball up there. Come on, Blanc. Back you get. He's so strong as well. You guys must know about Blanc, how strong he feels and all of that kind of stuff. Good save, Bixby. She's actually made a save. That's crazy. Um, and Blanc, like in previous years, more recently, hasn't really been a go-to, if I remember correctly. But th th this is a year where um, Bl Blanc is like levels because of play how good playstyles are. I mean, I've literally cancelled that, but okay. Um, yeah, let's go to some highlights from here, guys, and uh, see what we can get from Blanc. There's that anticipate again, guys. Every time you go in for a stand tackle, you don't have to worry about... Oh, is we going to concede here? Yeah, nice goal. You don't have to worry about the kind of um, giving away a foul because nine times out of ten, he is just going to tackle the ball perfectly, which is another thing that's quite good because I know a lot of people are giving away a lot of penalties this year, and that kind of completely stops that from happening. Go on then, Blanc. That's yours. Yeah, let's go, Blanc. Nice. Look at that from Blanc, man. That's an auto tackle as well. That's an auto tackle. I didn't even press it. Nice, Blanc. Not so much with a pass that time. That's better. That's a better pass out. Look at that. Second man press there from Blanc. Crazy. Oh, that's brilliant, man. His jockeying so good that he really shouldn't have that playstyle plus as well. There it is again, man. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Honestly, guys, joke. Absolute joke of a card. Yes, Blanc. Oh, oh that's unbelievable. All right then, guys. So we only played one game of Blanc here, but as I told you before, that I, I have used this card for at least a full weekend league. So I know how good he is. And the thing you have to be very careful with, with the Anticipate Plus, and this might be why it won't work for everybody that plays the game, is you need to be quite active using your centre-backs. You need to be trying to press them up to make tackles. And if you do play like that, then Blanc is probably the best centre-back on the game, in my opinion. He's certainly better than Virgil van Dijk if you're trying to do that. Now, Virgil does have Anticipate as well. But Anticipate Plus does completely change the way you make tackles. Yeah, Virgil's good at making tackles, similar to Blanc. But Blanc, just every time he makes a stand tackle, as long as you're not doing like the hard stand tackle, he will get the ball back every single time. And I think that's so, so valuable to start counter-attacks, you know, and to kind of... Because his pass is good as well, he gets the ball back and he's able to find a good pass. It really does kind of allow you to be a bit more aggressive. It allows you to start counter-attacks very quickly. And it just is a godsend of a play style, this. And then you've also got Jockey, which is amazing to have on a card like this too. Bruiser, I don't think, is the best personally. But it does kind of still play into Anticipate+. Plus. And of course, Ariel is very, very good for this card. And quite important, considering he's got poor jumping. I, I do think this is a must-complete SPC for how cheap he is. I would personally take Virgil out of my team if it was a choice between him or Blanc. Um, in terms of other centre-backs on the game, you know, you've got Varane who also has Anticipate Plus, and Varane is very, very good. But I don't think Varane has as many good play styles, which does kind of hinder him a little bit. Or maybe it's just because he doesn't feel as good on the ball. So with Varane, he's got really bad balance, right? His passing's okay, and he only has Anticipate Plus as a playstyle in the defensive category. So he's quite a lot worse than Blanc in this kind of discussion here. Um, and you really are looking at probably the best centre-back on the game right now that is affordable and you can go and get right now, guys. I, 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 I think he's absolutely brilliant. I really, really, truly do. I recommend him to everybody 
that plays somewhat aggressive with their center backs who controls their center backs a little bit you will absolutely love this card he is probably going to be my favorite center back for the next few months and he will last you till tim of the year you know he's french and an icon which means the chemistry links are incredible for you he is an absolute monster Guys, he's my favourite centre-back on the game I've used, so he's going to get a 9.5 out of 10 from me. I think the value's actually quite good as well. He's not that expensive. So go and pick him up. Let me know what you think, Tim. And guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell to miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.